what happens if someone were to go to a church that doesn't have a pastor that's biblically sound, that's starting to move uh, outside of the biblical scope, starting to uh, get taken into uh, false doctrine? Uh, what should be the uh, what should be the biblically correct way to handle that? Well, I think you need to go to your pastor privately without other people and just ask him whatever the question is that uh, you have and uh, see how he responds. And if it turns out that he is outside of biblical orthodoxy, you need to start telling other people and see if you can reel him back in. If not, you need to leave the church, right? Um, because he's supposed to be a, a leader and he's supposed to be somebody that's properly preaching the word of God and if he's not, he's no longer a leader, he's no longer a shepherd, he may be a wolf. And so you need to go somewhere else. Now, you always hear people say, well, this is a political issue, we can't talk about it. I was born in 1961. In 1961, abortion was not a political issue. Marriage was not a political issue. Certainly gender was not a political issue, right? The Bible was not a political issue. You know the Bible's a political issue now? It is. Yeah, you're... you're yeah. It's considered hate speech. Certainly in Canada, it's coming here. When something becomes a political issue, does that mean Christians can't talk about it? No, we're citizens just like everybody else. We should take our, what we know from the word of God and from natural law and apply them to those issues. So just because something becomes political doesn't mean we get out of it. And when you, when you go through the word of God and you just preach through the word of God, these issues are going to come up and you should bring them up. Now, what Tony has said in the many churches he's worked with, that if you start talking about the issues of the day, regardless of what people think about them, you're just telling what, what God thinks about these issues. Some people are going to get mad. Some people are going to get up. Some people are going to leave. And there's going to be some trouble. But then a whole lot more people are going to come in. And they're going to be truly devoted followers of Christ. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to make disciples. You're not just trying to put butts in seats. You're trying to make disciples. That's the way it is in America now. It might be that 20 years from now, you can't even attract a crowd preaching the truth. That's okay. We keep preaching what? The truth.